Hi all, um, this is going to be the third video on finding pointer chains for use in Cheat Engine and it's probably going to be a little bit of a kind of fail exercise because I want to show you just some of the things that work and some of the things that don't work. So at the moment I've got the Windows Store version of Killer Instinct up and running and it's just on the main menu so I've got Shadow Lords, Single Player, Multiplayer, Store, Exit. Um, just on the top menu there. Now to connect to Killer Instinct and when there are good configs working for cheat for Sonified as well, you're going to have to use the 64-bit version of Sonified and to connect to Killer Instinct we're going to have to use the 64-bit version of Cheat Engine. So, if I kick that off... Cheat Engine 6.7 Unknown I forgot I had that on. Exit. Thank you, Exit. NVDA. Okay. Okay. See you later. Okay, so we're going to open up the 64 bit version of Cheat Engine. Select process. We will select. Um, rather than choosing Killer Instinct from applications in the process list, um, I don't think that works particularly well. I think what you have to do with this is. In, when you click that open button, there's applications, processes, and windows in a tab. And I'm going to click processes and then click the killer instinct underscore uwp x64 underscore r.exe. That starts at a different memory address than the application killer instinct. So killer instinct starts at 1cdc. Looking at processes, killer instinct uwp x64 blah starts at 2600 so different starting memory addresses and that's important if you get the wrong one you're not going to be able to find anything I can give you a quick example of that if I go and pick that Killer Instinct application and open it then I'll do a search for an exact value as a string and on the Killer Instinct screen it says TJ Combo is now the free rotating character. Well, why don't I just try the title of that? So we'll go free rotating. That's ah, it. Free rotating fighter. It says um, writable, copy on write, executable. We don't care. Have at it. We'll not say it's UTF-16. We'll just leave that alone. Nothing. Nothing at all. Zero matches. Okay. Now. If I click select, select process to open, I go to processes and I click on Killer Instinct EWP X64, blah, 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 and then go new scan. First scan, the exact same thing, free rotating fighter, 172. So just by selecting the application, we were not connected to the correct process that's certainly some, something worth knowing. Um, so be a little bit careful that you are connecting to the right thing when you're searching um, for your pointer chains and that. Um, the other thing that's going to be a problem with this is that we can, in the Kill Instinct game, we can go into Shadow Lords and it's going to say Syncing Shadow Lords Data. There we go. So we've got New Game Multiplayer Shadow Lords Leaderboards. We can go back, the single player, we can click that, go into it, fight master, store and collection, all that kind of stuff. Now, what would be really useful is to find um, which option we are currently on. So if we wanted to do this, we're in the single player menu where it says fight master, store and collection and so on. Let's assume that the first value is 1. So just in Cheat Engine, New Scan, I don't want to search, oh, because of that, right. Let's say it's a 4-byte value, we want to search, I don't know, let's, let's assume Fight is 1, let's go for it. In fact, let's not, let's go un, Unknown Value, we'll go Unknown Initial Value, then first scan, 1.167 billion. That's quite a few. Okay, so if I go down one, two, three, 
how many of those values have increased by 3? 891. If I go up 1, 2, how many of them have decreased value by 2? Down to 15. Now, some of those are fluctuating, the values are changing in the cheat engine window. So I can go to unchanged value, next scan, next scan, next scan. Keep slapping it away. We're down to two values. We've got one value which is one, which I'm hoping is the one we want. If I move down one, it's on two, down one, it's on three, down one, it's on four, down one, it's on zero, so the zero is five at the top. Well, that's actually pretty good news for us. So if I delete that 22, there's two values available, one's 22, one's zero. It's definitely the zero we want. So I want to delete that. Actually, I don't care about it. But remove select address, there we go. So I'm going to double click on the zero. Let's point a scan for that address. You never know, we might even find something we want. So stop traversing when a static path has been found as usual. 2047 max offset, max level 5, hopefully that will do it. OK, save as one dot pointer and let it go. Because the 64-bit address space is very large and because this particular machine I'm running on has 32 gig of RAM, um, it's looking through everything. It's looking through a massive amount of potential um, pointer chains but we'll just we'll let it go and see what it turns up with if we get it if we get a bunch of pointers then we can do what we did before which is to close down killer instinct refine that so you know if I was doing this properly and I might give it a shot just to see what's going to happen I'll write down that um, the single player menu goes between 0 and 4 for the 5 available options and they turn up as integers, so 4 byte values. So I'll just write that down. Okay, just at the end of generating the pointer map, now it actually has to go through and it's found 8, eight million? No, 882,000. Great. Um, one of the things we can do quickly, there's a bunch of these which point at nothing, um, or like that points to field on the far right. So there's base address offset 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then there's points to anything which has a dash is rubbish. That pointer is already gone. We can go pointer scanner, rescan memory, filter out invalid pointers, OK. Save that as 2. And we've gone from 800,000 to 359,000. We can do the exact same thing again, because I can see a pointer which is pointing to nothing right near the top. Um, so again, only filter out invalid pointers. Okie doke, I'll overwrite that too. 336. Um, there's there's a value in here which has got a stupidly big number. We only want things which are zero. So why don't we say? Well, some of those point to different things already, and this is where the failing is going to come in, I believe, because we ha we have this memory address which we found that we point to scanned for. If I go back into the game and then go down from fight to master, it should be one. Storm collection is two. Fight archive three. Help and options four. Back to zero as I wrap around. Great. So what I can do is I can make sure I've got that address. And I haven't even closed down the app and restarted it yet. But not everything is pointing to the same address anymore. So I can go pointer scanner, rescan memory, untick only filter out invalid pointers, give it that memory address again. I'll save that as 3. OK, so everything there points at the correct memory address, and we are left with 321,000. OK, let's give it a go. So we'll do what we did before. We will close down Killer Instinct. 
kick it off again. For some reason it wants to go full screen now. I'm not sure why. It occasionally does that. Let's of course sync to the Ultratech servers. Eventually. And then I will get this back to uh, windowed mode. Yep. Okay, back into single player. And then, just like before, we're going to connect to the UWP X64 Killer Instinct process. Keep the current address list. Yep, that'll be great. Okay, well, let's start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, which of those values will we up to? Are now 2, 100. Which of those 100 are now 0? Just clicking, you know, which ones are still 0 because some of them are fluctuating. Um, let's go back to 4. We've got one value. Great. So, if I move around now, that value is changing to what, it should, what I expect it to be. So, previously we had 2857CBB8754. Now we have 1CDA3FE44B4. So, it doesn't matter what they are, but... <coughs> We can double click on them to add them to the lower pane of Cheat Engine, then double click on that so we can control C copy them back into our pointer scanner. We'll say which of those 321,000 potential pointer change now points to our new address. OK, save that as 4. 1. Well, that's quite good. I like that. Doesn't mean it's going to work, <laughs> which we may well find out shortly, but okay, let's give it a go. So let's go into the pointer trail checker, um, pointer chain tester, just the app that comes with uh, Sonified. So we'll kick that off. Minimize. Okay, let's look at this one. So first of all, in the pointer chain tester, let's connect to the process. So it's killer instinct, all one word, UWP X64 underscore R. We're connected to the process. Then, what have we got? 31C7D E0. Okay, comma 20168. 198, 640, C4, integer value is 1. If we move down one, to store and collection should be 2, fight and archive 3, help and options 4. That's all great. Okay. Now then, let's see whether we found something of value or we're stuffed. So, let's close Killer Instinct. Kick it off again. Back to full screen, thank you. Sync those ultra tech servers. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Great. Okay, graphics windowed, yes, thank you, single player. Okay, so if this pointer chain works that we've found during this video, it means we have the single player menu. It's currently on zero, but the memory address is C4, which just so happens to be the final hop of our pointer chain. So basically what's happened is this hasn't been successful 
it hasn't worked and massive disappointment is us so moving around the menu does not change the address and if we went to back to cheat engine connected it to the clone sync process we can keep that address list yeah we can see that the um the pointer chain we got is not going anywhere near <laughs> where we really want it to. So that's one of the really frustrating things about this, but it it doesn't particularly matter right now because this is an anti-example. This is how not to do it. Um, we could quite happily find that value again and try again, but and, you know, and maybe when we do our pointer scan, we make rather than I wouldn't recommend making the max level more than five, but maybe we say okay, three thousand and ninety-six bytes between hops, rather than a max of two thousand and forty-seven. Then there are also other options that you can play with to kind of. Oh, look! You can very easily get ridiculous amounts of pointer chains, just billions. And you know, I've, I've, when I've been playing around with this, I've ended up with you know a twenty gig scan. Um, so you've got to make sure you've got the space available. Also, if you can do it on a solid state drive rather than a kind of spinning platter drive, it'll go quicker. Um, but there are lots of different ways to do this. There's also, um, which I haven't mentioned previously, Cheat Engine has a great tutorial in it, and the tutorial shows you a different way of finding pointers. But what you end up doing to find this is you end up um, attaching a debugger to the process. And then you look for a value, you w wait for the value to change. Well, you kind of monitor the value and say, what code changed this? And you go and look at that value, and you can look up from the register where it's being changed from, and it'll say, the pointer which modifies this value is probably this. Um, so I would recommend that you try the Cheat Engine tutorial. It is available from Help Tutorial in the Cheat Engine software. And um, the only, only other one thing I'd say is that if you're looking for a health value and you have no idea what the starting value is, um, the way I found the Killer Instinct, n sorry, Mortal Kombat 9 um, values was by playing around just against myself, so both players on the keyboard, and like player one kills player two, and then I go right, which values are zero? Because I'm, you can be even if you don't know what it starts at. When you've got no health left, you can be pretty certain that the value is zero, and that at least cuts a massive swathe of potential answers out of the equation. Um, so I would go okay, beat myself up, or beat player two up, and then go right immediately give me everything which is zero now what has increased and then go and give them a dab and go what has decreased give them a dab again what has decreased and so on and that helped to do it and it turns out that Mortal Kombat doesn't have you know like Street Fighter 4 Ryu might have a thousand health um, in Mortal Kombat 9 every player's health starts at 1.0 as a floating point value and um, it goes down from there so but bit of a fail video a bit of a kind of you know thoughts and ideas video Hopefully people who are better at this kind of memory analysis and, um, you know, finding values kind of chime in and get, you know, help us, basically, because I think we kind of need it, or at least I need it. Um, but there we go. I will leave that there for now. If there's anything else which turns up in the future that I think is really worth discussing, I'll, you know, be happy to create a video about that. But... I wish you the best of luck. I hope that you're able to find some bits and pieces um, that make games useful to you. If you can find those chains and, you know, create watches and sonified, then that's all the better. So good luck to you. All the best. And uh, I hope we can really get a handle on this and do something really useful with it. Cheers.